Your reputation follows you like a shadow, ever-changing but inescapable. I delayed my trip so many times to help others, it was infuriating to think that history book would paint me as some kind of heartless criminal. Didn't tell Liam where we were going, but he sensed my mood, sensed something was wrong, because he wouldn't let go of my hand. Flagstaff was like most towns, stripped clean, lightly populated, and losing its battle with nature. Electronics stores were usually a good place to find dry lodging. No sense in raiding them, right? If you need me, Russell, I'll come along. Told Gwen thanks, but I'd handle it myself. And Gwen had already made all the arrangements through the word wall with the orphanage director, Diane Weatherford. Is this the young man who made it almost a year on his own? I was an absolute wreck after the first week alone. Made me realize how tough you orphans must have it. Diane was a sweet woman with a permanent smile, but that didn't make the goodbye any easier for us. You promise, Mr. Schumacher. You promised you wouldn't leave. You need a real home, Liam. A safe place to grow up. I just can't give you that. I'm sorry. I won't be any more trouble. I won't get sick. I won't, I swear. I could feel my resolve cracking under the weight of his disappointment. So I decided to use my bad reputation. Look, it was Gwen's idea to bring you with us. And it was a big mistake. I don't want you around. I can't be your new father. I'm a wanted man. I've done terrible things. It's all in the book. I remember walking away. Took every ounce of strength I had. Finally felt like the villain I'd been painted. When Gwen came back to the store, I told her I wanted to leave. Put Flagstaff behind me. But Flagstaff wasn't done with me yet. The New World historians are in town. I saw their bloody steam train. All the books are stored on board. While you were at the orphanage, I traded some penicillin for this. She was suggesting we blow up the boxcar with the printing press and all those damn history books along with it. I have to admit, at that moment, there was nothing I wanted more. But was I ready to live up to my billing as public enemy number one?